Blessings and peace to you. This is SB Favorite Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? It is Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Another wonderful day, and another day to be thankful. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can. Project something good to happen because your thoughts can become your reality. When you focus on something long enough, especially something good, you want something good to happen. So focus on what is good. Don't sit around thinking and basking in negative thoughts because there is no benefit to that. When you get a negative thought, cast it out and pray and refocus on something good because it's good. To just keep your mind focused on what is good. So I always say that because that is how I live. I mean, uh, maintenancing your thought life and controlling your thoughts is a part of self-control inwardly. So make sure you focus on what is good. If you're out there traveling about today, make sure you keep yourself safe and do your part to... Use your hand sanitizer and wear your mask when you need to. Um, We still have to keep ourselves safe because that's just the rule now. That is the type of world that we live in. And um, we got to keep ourselves safe. So please do your part to keep yourself safe and keep your family members safe. If you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor. And if you're not comfortable giving on the Cash App, um, you can contact me at sbfavor at yahoo.com and I can give you some further instructions on how to give. Um, your donations are very, very important and I appreciate all of your support and those that listen consistently and share the podcast with others. I appreciate that so much. Well, my inspirational quote for today is you are important and you have a divine purpose Wake up each day with the intent to fulfill your purpose. None of us are here on this earth to take up space. We are here to interact and pass the baton to the next person to do something great. So everything that we do as individuals will affect the next person. Good, bad, or indifferent. All of us were born with a divine purpose. And I know we hear that a lot. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. (laughs) Yes, we hear that a lot all over the place. But think about this. You were born with a creative ability. That creative ability could be anything. And that creative ability ties into your purpose. So... If you're one of those people, you're sitting around thinking, well, I want to do something different with my life. I want to do something I've never done before. I want to try something new. And then sometimes I hear people say, "Um, what am I really good at? Think about the things that give you joy. Think about the things that give you absolute fulfillment when you uh, interact with music. It could be music. Think about the joy that it gives you. If you are a dancer, think about the joy that it gives you. If you are a poet or someone that is into arts and crafts or uh, someone that is an awesome writer or think about all those things. If you're one of those people that gets an abundance of joy every time you interact with something that you love to create, that's your purpose. When I was a young girl, about, mm, I would say, eight years old, I started buying jazz records. Nine years old, buying jazz records. What eight-year-old buys a jazz record or want to buy or listen to jazz music? Well, that was me. And so I realized at a very young age that I had a love for music. So every time I sing and every time I create music, I get this abundance of joy. So that is part of my purpose. 
When I was a young girl, I used to love uh, uh, having conversations with people about life. The same way I have conversations with people about life today. I mean, just deep conversations. <laughs> so guess what? I realized that I love to inspire people. And that's why I created this podcast, because I get an abundance of joy when I inspire people. So just think about whatever your creative ability is, whatever it is that you do that gives you an abundance of joy. That is your divine purpose. Because God wired us all and gave us something individually that was a part of him, that is a part of him and from him so that we can give it to somebody else. When you look at people that play basketball and football really, really, really well, that's their ability. That's their creative ability. The ability to create a shot or create a touchdown, (laughs) that is their creative ability. It's just that simple. Just think about it. You have some people at a very young age, they learn that they... uh, love medicine and they become doctors and they have the creative ability to create technology and things that we all can use or have used. Think about that. So so what I'm saying is whatever gives you an abundance of joy, whatever you have a passion about, that is part of your purpose. I don't care how old you are or how young you are. Your creative ability could be something that is sometimes hidden in you. Sometimes you you could you could work a job for more than 15 years and you say, "Well, I'm good at being a mechanic or I'm good at being a uh a model, someone that likes to uh create fashion or present fashion. A person may say that I'm good at that. But then all of a sudden at age 30, at age 40, 50, any age, you find out that you have another creative ability. So for people that switch careers and people that transition to do something different in life, whatever your creative ability is, that is your divine purpose because nobody can do it like you. You have a unique way of doing it, whatever it is you love to do. And it's part of who you are. So that is my inspirational quote. I hope everybody have a good day. It's an early day. I decided to do this episode very early today. (laughs) And so I hope that everyone have A good, blessed, awesome Thursday. I hope that you receive favorable news today. I pray that whatever it is you ask God for and whatever it is that you are uh, projecting or being intentional about, I pray that you receive it today. I pray that you mend broken relationships because some of us, We have the ability to do that very easily. So I just want to encourage you to just have a good day and make sure you love on your loved ones as much as you can. And I appreciate you so much for taking the time to listen to SB Favor Thinking Podcast. Make sure you share this podcast with others. My intent is to give you a smile help you to be encouraged, inspired, and just to make you think. And that is why I named it SB Favorite Thinking Podcast, because I'm always thinking about something. So I'm just simply sharing my thoughts with you. So you have a good day and make sure you, by all means, do not forget to pray. I don't care if you're driving. I don't care if you're washing dishes or whatever it is you're doing. Do not forget to pray. And I'm not saying that in a religious way. I'm talking about being spiritual, having a connection to God for something better to happen, reaching higher above yourself to someone that loves you like no one else. 
So guess what? Pray. Pray because it's powerful. So have a good day. And on that note, once again, please share the podcast with others. And if you need to reach me, you can reach me at sbfavor at yahoo.com via email. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at sbfavor. I also have a TikTok handle. There is inspirational and motivational content there. Make sure you subscribe to me wherever you listen to podcasts. Of course, as I always say, I'm on Google Podcasts, Apple, Spotify, CastBox. Um, I'm everywhere. If you're not sure, Google SB Favorite Thinking Podcast and you will find me somewhere. So make sure you subscribe and share the podcast with others. You can never do any wrong with that. You will only do good. So share the podcast with others. And thank you again for listening. Make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click like and uh, leave me some feedback. I appreciate that. You can leave me feedback anywhere. I I would love that. I appreciate your feedback because I'm encouraged when you leave me some feedback. And once again, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at cash app dollar sign S B favor. Thank you so much for listening and you have a good day.